explain how this would work. Okay. So, this is a HP computer running Windows Multipoint Server. And there's a multiple different ways that you can configure this system. Uh, the preferred way that you do it with HP hardware is that for each station, you go and you get an HP thin client, which is one of these devices here, where you can connect the keyboard, the mouse, uh, the monitor, uh, all directly. So you get one of these per station, and you would connect it to your server. Okay? And when you plug it in, you turn it on. That's the server there. That's the server. It's just a consumer-grade piece of hardware. It's just a consumer. So you plug it in, you turn it on, and what you will get is a screen like this, uh, where you can just log in as any user on the network. Okay? So I will log in here as user James. Okay, so there's a new feature in Multipoint 2011, which is called Split Screen. And what has this been done for a long time? How long has this been done for a long time? Multipoint's been out uh, since February 2010. And this version, Multipoint 2011, is not yet out. It'll be out in March. I've actually never heard of Multipoint. It's new. It's a, it's a newer product. So what Split Screen lets you do is I've got three, you know, right now this is set up so that I've got three keyboards, three mice going to three monitors. One user logged into each. Right, but let's say I have a fourth student and I want to get the fourth student working somewhere. Right, what I can do is this is just a normal USB hub. Right, so I got a USB hub, USB keyboard, and a USB mouse. So I can plug this USB keyboard and mouse just into a normal hub, and I can connect that to the server. Right, so this is me just plugging in another keyboard and mouse. Oh, wrong cable. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to plug that in. Just a normal USB. Normal USB. That's all this is, is normal USB. And you can build this whole system with off-the-shelf components. Okay, so then I'm going to go over here. And this will show me my stations. And we'll just see start identifying. So I've got station 1, station 2, station 3. And I will go to station 3. And I will click this button that says split station. And when I click the button that says split station, it's going to log this user off, and it's going to turn that one station into two stations. And it's going to associate this free keyboard and mouse with that station. There you go. So what we're demoing here, this is the split screen functionality. And uh, what I've actually got is this two figures, so that we've got two independent users both logged in using uh, the single monitor at the same time. Uh, the user on the left is here watching a video, and the user on the right is here browsing Wikipedia.